Hey guys, this is Kim Lewis with Kim Lewis Designs out of Austin, Texas. We are currently working on a residential project that's really exciting, but I got a phone call from my builder earlier this week and we had ordered a concrete tub, this amazing freestanding concrete tub. The pictures that the manufacturer posted look different than what arrived. This tub weighed in at over 950 pounds, palleted, so there's no sending the tub back. She called me and she said, I think the tub is more gray than you expected. The pictures showed online, it looked kind of like a taupey brown. Um, so she said, I need you to come check it out. So we did. The bottom line is this prompted the question of, can you mix brown and gray? Can you have brown and gray in the same space, warm and cold, warm and cool? The answer is yes, y'all, absolutely. I, I saw the tub and I'm like, look, you guys, there's no concern here. The tub is, it is more gray than we expected, but it's absolutely beautiful. And what we have to remember is when you order something like a concrete material, whether it's flooring or a tub, or even a light fixture, it's gonna come in a little bit different than the photos show because concrete is a natural material and it does have differentiations. It has different, um, the, the makeup is different. It's a natural material. It's never gonna be the exact same. And that's actually the beauty in it. So we looked at this tub and what we're doing is pivoting a little bit, but not a lot. We wanted this bathroom to feel outdoor, indoor, outdoor anyway, and the client was excited to kind of get a Japanese feel. We've been calling it Costa Rica. Those are polar opposites, but the principles of design are very similar, and that is a very, very natural design palette. So what we're doing is we're gonna have teak. This is a teak material on the walls. When you pair brown and gray, I think it's important, I would say one of the rules is to just consider it's all about balance. Y'all, these warm and cool schemes absolutely go together. In fact, I think a room can be stronger if it has both warm and cool feelings to it instead of being all gray. I actually don't love all gray spaces. I feel that it translates as cold and all brown can feel really warm. So the perfect balance, just like the earth outside, is bringing a, a cool and a warm tone in. So let's take a look at what I mean by that. I have some inspiration images pulled. Some of these were shared with our client some were not, but this gives you an idea of how do we bring in cool and warm schemes into an interior space. What it does create is something extremely neutral and really, I think, very pleasing to the eye. It has a calmness, a warmth to it, and an earthiness. So all of these are awesome examples of living spaces where people have combined wood materials with concrete plaster. I do think it's nice if you have a warm and a cool scheme that you know maybe the warm comes from the wood and the cool comes from a different texture like a concrete tile, a floor, a wall plaster. I've pulled some really cool wall plasters here to show you. Um, I think in at the end of the day, the, the, the warm and cool scheme can go throughout the house, but it's a really nice place to use this idea in common spaces like the living room, the kitchen, or the, the primary bathroom. There's some really cool concrete sinks out there right now. Pair that with a wood cabinet and you've got a really beautiful scenario. I think it's about balance too, right? They don't have to be high contrast. That's sort of a, I think, a misconception. They can be, they can be high contrast. The wood can go darker, the concrete can go lighter. They can get more neutral and, and more monochromatic. Uh, I think that actually lends itself to something even more calming for the eye, so this is a good thing. It's all, it is all about balance. Let's take a look at the next slide. This is kind of going into more of the kitchen and bath zone. The warm and cool scheme works so well in kitchens and baths, y'all, because what do we wanna do when we go into the bathroom space in our house? We wanna relax. It's where we start and it's where we finish our day. So I, I think a warm and cool scheme works super well in a bathroom. You've got wood cabinetry, maybe some concrete tile, maybe wood on the ceilings, maybe some teak stools, some really beautiful you know, concrete sink or, or tile um, countertops. You can do a concrete looking quartz countertop is a great idea. I also love the idea of plaster. We're gonna talk about that in the next video um, in a bathroom. This is another uh, kind of capture of some really beautiful inspiration imagery that we found that w inspired our team for this design. Again, very neutral walls. What you don't see a lot of in, our, in these is stark white. Notice that. 
Um, we've got kind of a, a very monochromatic tone on tone feeling with the concrete and, or with the gray and the brown. And I think that's what makes it work really well. When you start putting something bright white in there, it can work, but it feels a little bit more synthetic. So if we're going with a warm and cool scheme, it is all about capturing an earthy feeling. Again, you can skew it darker. It doesn't have to be this sort of light and airy, earthy thing. It can skew darker and be super sexy. Go, you know, with a darker wood. Go with uh, something like a dark, dark gray. Something about grays to really pay super close attention to is you really can go warm gray or cool gray. Warm gray is going to naturally have a brown undertone. So check this out. This is almost brown, but it's a it's a warm gray. And then you go cool gray, and it, it it honestly actually pulls some kind of blue tones to it. Something more like this. So I think it's important to make sure you kind of hone in on what do you want to feel. Cool gray is naturally going to make the space feel cooler. Sometimes it can feel cold, maybe more modern, more contemporary, and that's a good thing. Uh, warm grays are going to feel more earthy, more balanced, more grounded, uh, and just m more warm in general. Um, dark schemes, though, can be really beautiful when mixing blacks. Like this in the middle, dark cabinet. And dark countertop is super sexy, and this creates something really nice. But notice the staircase. They used a light white or a light, light, light gray, not white, to make it uh, subtly, to make it pop, but not too, not too, there's not too much stark contrast there. I also love what I think these images do well is when you mix brown and gray, and this is what I told our builder. If we have brown and gray, all we got to do to make this thing pop perfectly is add some plants because now we've literally created this beautiful earthy sensation. Look outside, indoors, outdoors. If you want an indoor, outdoor feel, bringing in warm and gray tones is a great way to go. And last but not least, I want to end with a sneak peek of one of our designs, not the house I was just talking to you about. We'll show you those too. This is a, a high rise that we're designing in East Side, and it shows you how we are at KLD incorporating a very neutral, very earthy palette um, using, using different earth tones, mixing warm and and cool. You can totally do it, you guys. I actually think it makes for an incredible space. Um, don't be afraid. Don't go all in. My advice, don't go all in on cool rooms and don't go all in on warm rooms. Uh, mixing is a perfect balanced solution to your interior space. Thanks for joining Pop Questions uh, here. I'd love to hear or see uh, ideas and projects that you've done or questions that you've had. I'd love to answer those. Stay tuned. If you have not hit the subscribe button, please do so. We'll keep fun content coming to you and uh, more inspiration images because I could look at these all day.